By the secret runes of the sleeping realm, hear the plea from far removed whispers, given strength through the stone rituals of rotten bones. Aris, it's Fiola. There is very little time to explain. We have found refuge in the music halls and song rooms of one of the old orders, deep within the Velotis. Send word to any that you have sent north, as the old burrows and silent tombs seem to regain their voice. No one is to enter them, as their guardians are waking. Wherever we have found ourselves, we are not alone. One being has woken fully, and it speaks. Aris, it speaks in the tongues of the old warriors. Every hour we can hear its chants and the quakes that follow in its wake. Every waking moment it seeks to blow us out of the hole we have barricaded ourselves in. And it is only a matter of time until the doors give way to this creature's servants. Elendril's strength is waning, and his old wounds are reopening. We will survive, even if we have to take this creature head on. We'll think of something. Over the last few months, Atmora has seen some considerable changes. Spring has come and gone, and now winter is approaching. We have been hard at work overhauling our files and folders, documents, spreadsheets, and are preparing for a large push for new assets. The writing department has been chugging away at world building, redrafting and rewriting old lore. Since last summer, we have taken it upon ourselves to make sense of that which made little sense and to recompile the lore that has mainly been written between 2017 and 2021. That is not to say that we scrapped everything and began anew. In the past, multiple and very different topics were documented on one singular file. Things were brainstormed freely without the need for formatting, and often enough, it was not apparent which information is still up to date and what was scrapped years ago. While writing lore documents that explain the world of Atmora might be incredibly helpful for curious artists, writing has unfortunately slowed down a bit, as many of the writers are currently aiding other projects. While writing works to explore and explain the mysteries that artists will be using, we have seen great progress in the concept art department. Thanks to some incredibly dedicated and skillful artists, we've been able to make a dent into the enormous megastructure that is Yukufik, and a lot of work has been done to make Fotogrim a place to truly fear. These two areas are our current priorities, as the active artists are the most interested in them. Yukufik also known as the Star of the South, is a large ruin that rivals the imperial city of Cyrodiil in size. Once a place to the many cults and clans, it eventually fell to war, in the divine wrath that reduced the once great capital to an arena of the never dying, the place where its former inhabitants are bound to ice and oath, sworn to obtain the strength of the great kings of the past. Therefore, we have decided to give this truly unique location its own tile set which is currently being concepted. Fortalgrim, on the other hand, is the domain of the Demon of Knowledge, the Old Man of the Forests. Be careful as you walk through the dark and sinister forest, as the great oaks of Fortalgrim know of secrets that were stolen from the powerful, clever men of the past. The area that you have seen in the Creation ModCon 2021 will change considerably, with the swampy area making way for a truly eldritch forest of towering and snow-cloaked trees that hide jewels of wisdom and that might attack unsuspecting travelers. While the concept art department is busy creating new designs for landscape and architecture, the 3D department has been busy creating new armors and weapons. We plan to feature a reasonable amount of variants for various assets, as there are many destroyed and ancient things in Admora. We would like to convey this feeling of destruction to the player by including destroyed variants of many assets, sometimes caked in a thick layer of snow. Should the player come across a ruined armor, they will be able to repair it and restore it to its old glory. However, such a task is not something that can be done swiftly, as there are many, many new assets which we still need. And while we are waiting for new assets, the level design department is taking the initiative to prepare and update development plans. 
Along with the overhaul and lore and writing, level design joined in and we sorted our interior and exterior lists. As a sizable portion of Atmoran dungeons were designed before 2020, they still utilize the Nordic Tomb Kit that you may be familiar with from Skyrim. As we think that Green Moss might be a bit out of place for a continent like Atmora, these dungeons will be redesigned from the ground up, and many will be expanded greatly. As it stands, Atmora plans to include fewer dungeons, but plenty of them will rival the size of Labyrinthian. Other than the great tombs and temples, you will be able to journey through the ruined forts, but also make your way through narrow and dangerous caves that are planned to seemingly appear and disappear at will or after a furious blizzard has blocked the entrance. But should you remember where a gaping maw leads into the shivering glacier, you may use it as a shelter or a shortcut for future expeditions onto the mainland. A similar treatment has been given to the exterior design, as claims are currently being prepared. We hope that you have enjoyed a peek behind the curtains. The Atmora team is currently accepting applications for the writing, concept art, and 3D departments. If you are interested in helping us complete the frozen wastes, don't hesitate to apply. Should you feel like you don't have the skills necessary, don't worry. Consider joining the Arcane University, a place where you can learn and hone game development skills, taught to you by fellow modders. Head to beyondskyrim.org slash join for more information. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you will continue to enjoy the 2023 Advent Calendar.